Okay, we're going to be finding common percentages. Let's say our original number is 200. The original number, we call that 100%. To find 10% of a number, we're basically dividing the number by 10. So if you divide 200 by 10, the decimal moves from here back one. And so it actually becomes, it goes from a 200 here to a 20. Okay, and 20 is what represents 10%. So I'm gonna put my 20 here, two here, and zero there. And so that represents 10%. Now, if I wanna represent 20% of 200, what I do is I look at what 10% is, which is 20, and I double it. So to go from 10% to 20%, I take the answer 20 and I double it, 20 plus 20, and it becomes 40. So 20 is 10%, whereas 40 is 20% of 200. Let's do it once again. Here we have 20 and we want 10%. Remember, uh, to take 10%, we simply need to divide by 10, which moves the decimal over. So we'll start off with 20, and when you move the decimal over on a 20, the decimal settles right here, and what you actually have is a two. So 10% of 20 will be two. Now, if you want 20%, you take your 10% and you double it. So two plus two makes four. So four represents 20% of 20. Let's go with 300. So with 300, we wanna find 10%. So we're gonna divide this by 10. So the decimal is gonna move from here to here. So it's gonna go from 300 to 30. So 30 represents 10%. Now, if you want 5%, 5% is actually half of 10%. So to find 5%, you have to take half of the 30, which is the 10% uh, portion. So half of 30 will be 15. So the answer for what is 5% of 30 is 15. Okay. Let's do this again. All right, we want 10% of 30. So 10%, we're gonna move the decimal from here to here. So it's gonna go from 30 to three. So we'll put three right here underneath the zero. And that's your 10%. Now, to take 5%, we need to take half. Now three is an odd number, so it's hard to take half of a three. So the way that we're gonna fix this is that we're gonna add a decimal back here, so three, and then add a zero there. And this gives the appearance that, that we're taking half of 30 here. So now half of 30 would be 15, so we'll put 15 right underneath, and we'll drag the decimal down. And we'll see that 5% of the 30 is gonna be 1.5. Okay, let's move again. So we have 400, we want 10%. So we, we divide this by 10, and the decimal goes from here to here, which gives us 40. 40 represents 10%. To get 5%, we're going to take 10% um, and divide that by 2, or get half of 40. So 40 divided by 2 will give us 20. So 20 represents 5% of 400. Now, to get... 20%, we need to take um, our 10% and double it. So if you want 20%, you go back to 10% and double it. So 40 plus another 40, or you can say 40 times two, will be 80. And finally, a 50%. 50% is basically one half of a number. So it means we take half of the original number. So since 50 is half of 100, we need to find out what half of 400 is. 400, when divided by two, will give us half, and that number is 200.